नमस्कार प्रेयर्स फॉर योर एंड योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स सेफ्टी एंड हेल्थ इन दिस वीडियो लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ पोएम नंबर टू दैट इज विंड इट इज रिटन बाय ए टैमिल पोएट सुब्रमण्य भारती एंड इट इज ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू इंग्लिश बाय वन मोर फेमस पोएट ऑफ इंडिया ए के रामानुजन Let us read the poem. The wind blows strongly and causes a lot of destruction. How can we make friends with it? Let us see what Subramanya Bharati has to say. Wind, come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There. Look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You were very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. The wind god winnows and crushes them all. He won't do what you tell him. So, come, let's build strong homes. Let's join the doors firmly. Practice to firm the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish his friendship is good we praise him every day we all know that the wind is a natural phenomenon in this poem the poet talks to the wind so here the figure of speech is apostrophe o wind blow slowly the power of wind has been described and the poet says the wind is destructive he has linked the destructive power of the wind to the adversities of life and says that the weak people break down but stronger people emerge out of adversities and become stronger they emerge out stronger the poem gives an important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong in order to survive the hardships of life a weak person breaks down like a weak building and crumbles down we must make these destructive forces our friends with our strength and determination the poet is talking to the wind he asks the wind to come softly so he is saying that the wind should not be very strong should not be very loud it should be very soft and subtle then he says that the wind is very powerful it is very destructive it breaks the shutters of the windows and scatters the papers when the wind is very powerful all the books which are kept on the shelf fall down so here the poet is describing the power of the wind then he says to the wind to look at the destruction that it had done whenever there is a strong wind all the things that are weak like small plant tiny children etc they all get scared and they can even fall and get hurt we can say that in the initial part of the poem the poet is referring to Uh, the wind is a young child he is saying that it should come softly like just like a small child does and in the later part we come to know that the wind is very um, strong very destructive hmm, and very mischievous just like a young person 
full of energy okay. the word crumbling is repeated so many times to lay stress that everything crumbles in the face of a strong wind so the poet is saying that when wind is very powerful it is very strong it leads to the breakage of everything houses which are weak they fall doors which are weak they fall the beams on which uh, the beams on which the roof of the buildings are supported they also fall down all the wooden structures they fall all bodies of people fall animals leaves hearts they all fall <coughs> so he's saying that everything crumbles everything falls down everything breaks everything that is weak reacts by falling down and breaking in the face of adversity bad times so the poet is saying that whenever a weak person faces any adversity or any challenge in life he or she breaks down and falls this is termed as failure for such a person the poet is addressing to wind as wind god and he's saying that the powerful god of wind we knows that means the god or the wind sifts all the people and those people who are weak they fall down and get crushed so here a comparison is made between wheat and people just like the farmers we know the wheat to separate the grain from the chaff the wind god separates the strong people from the weak people then there is a strong wind all the things that are weak they fall and get crushed the poet wants us to make friends with the wind that is the adversities in our life he says that the problems will not listen to us problems will come so you know we should be prepared we should be prepared for any situation in life in preparation we should build strong homes and close the doors of our house firmly so that the wind cannot get into it and then he says that we should also make our bodies strong and hearts firm why to face these challenges and then once we are strong enough um once we are strong enough all the ch challenges will be like friends the challenges will become friends we will not feel that they are troublesome we will not feel the challenges are challenges we will consider them to be opportunities and uh, these challenges will shape uh, success for us the poet has kept the wind on a pedestal giving respect he is considering the wind to be god he says that wind is god and we praise wind every day he adds that everything that is weak gets finished off in the face of the strong wind and all the things that are strong they flourish and grow to become stronger he is giving us a very important message that we should not feel bad that we are facing so many challenges and challenges and adversities in life we should make our self physically and mentally strong to face these challenges so basically when we face challenges we become physically strong we become mentally strong and we are ready for any challenge in life later and once we are strong enough we will overcome the challenges we will become friends with them and then we will be happy that we had these challenges in our life because the challenges only help us to become stronger and better the first part of the poem describes the action of the wind the poet asks the wind to come softly he requests the wind not to break the shutters of the windows not to scatter the papers and throw down the books from the shelf but the wind throws the books and tears the pages the poet says that the wind makes a mockery of weaklings it brings down frail houses 
crumbling doors, rafters and even weak hearts. It crushes everything that is weak. The poet advises us to be strong. Only then can we save ourselves from the wind. We should build strong houses and firm doors. Our bodies and hearts should also be strong. It is the way of the world to kick the weak and to be friends with the strong. The wind blows out the weak fires but makes the strong fires roar and flourish. So the wind that uh, destroys, that puts off the fire also does one more thing and that is something contrasting to the earlier action that it also makes the strong fires roar and flourish. Thus, the poem conveys the idea that nobody cares for the weak. Even the wind is on the side of the strong people. We must make ourselves strong to become successful and overcome the challenges in life. If we talk about the rhyming scheme of this poem, the entire poem is written in free verse, means there are no rhyming words. And therefore, there is no rhyming scheme in this poem. So it is written in free verse or blank verse. Let us look at some word meanings. Weakling is a person who is weak. Poking fun means making fun of something or somebody. And steadfast means firm and strong. Winnows to separate grain from husk by blowing on it. Rafter sloping beam which supports the roof of the building. Crumbling is falling or to cause something to break. Let us look at some figures of speech used in the poem. The first one is apostrophe. The wind the wind which is non-human being uh, is addressed as a human being. In the very first line we see the poet is using wind come softly so as if the wind is a person uh, and we know that wind is not a person wind is an in inanimate object or a non-human still it is addressed as a human being so this is an example of apostrophe the next is repetition the word crumbling is repeated many times to lay emphasis. The poet wants to say that the wind crushes everything that is weak. And to make an impression of this, to highlight this, he repeats the word crumbling. So this is repetition. The next is alliteration. There is a repetition of verse sound in wind winnows or won't want so this is an example of alliteration when a particular sound is repeated in two different words at the beginning of that word it is called an alliteration that is all for today in homework I ask you to read the poem once again in your English notebook, write down the word meanings that I have suggested in this video lesson. I also want you to write down the poem in neat handwriting. That is all for today. Thank you very much. God bless you. May peace be with you.